This is Easter Bunny 2.0, or as I'd like to call him, Rocket Rabbit. But can he actually fly? And more importantly, will he do what he was built to do? Because I made him for a very special reason. Let me explain. Last Christmas, while unpacking his presents, my nine-year-old nephew said, Santa can't be real. I've never seen a flying reindeer, not even in the zoo. So I said, all right, smart guy. And what about the Easter Bunny? The Easter Bunny? He's real. Okay, then can you tell me how he hides all those eggs so fast for everyone? I don't know. I've never seen him. So I leaned in and I said, if you promise not to tell anyone, I'll tell you his secret, okay? Okay. He flies around on a drone with the eggs in his backpack and drops them from the sky. Get it? That's why we've never seen him. Really? Wow. That's awesome. And that's when I knew I had to build Rocket Rabbit. But as the months went by, I forgot all about it. Until last week. So Easter was only a week away. That means just seven days to not only build a flying Easter Bunny, but one that can also drop eggs from its backpack. So if I decide to go for it and want to pull it off in time, it means that I would have to go all in for the next seven days, because I've got nothing yet. Let's just start by checking the weather forecast for Easter, because if the weather's bad, flying a drone won't even be an option and I might end up doing it all for nothing. Okay, for now the forecast actually looks good, so that's not a reason not to do it. But let's get real for a minute. Is it even possible to get it done in 7 days? Well, to find out, we'll first need to figure out a way how we're gonna approach this. For example, the easiest and fastest option would be to buy a stuffed bunny and glue it to my DJI drone. But there are two problems with this idea. One, I have no clue how much extra weight this drone can handle while flying. And two, my nephew knows this drone, which could totally ruin the effect of the surprise. On the other hand, designing and building an entirely new drone from scratch in just 7 days also doesn't seem realistic. So what is? And suddenly it hit me. Another option would be to use the drone design for my flying LED display. Another project I've already been working on for a while now. The big advantage is that I can start printing the frame right away. And on top of that, the frame is designed to lift heavy stuff. So we don't need to worry as much about the weight of the bunny that we'll be riding on top. Speaking of which, let's see if we can find a stuffed bunny that actually looks like an Easter bunny that we could use. Let's see. Too small. That one's too small. That one's fake. That's the wrong pose. What's that? That's a duck bunny. No. That one's too small. Too fake. Too small. Too fake. And what's that? That's a cow with the ears of a bunny. That doesn't count. So it doesn't look like a stuffed bunny is gonna cut it. But maybe there's a 3D model we could print instead. I didn't have to search long because I found one that immediately stood out. And the model is named, you guessed it, Rocket Rabbit. Let's see how it fits on our drone frame. Look at that, it's perfect, right? We just need to hollow out the backpack so we can actually put the easter eggs in it and of course we'll need a way to make them drop when we want to. I also want to hollow out this helmet because even though his bunny ears already give it away I want to make it extra obvious that he's a bunny. Maybe by adding the head of a stuffed bunny inside the helmet somehow. But before all that I want to build and test the drone to make sure our easter bunny can actually fly. While the frame is being printed we can start gathering the rest of the components. After all that frame won't lift off on its own. We'll need some motors with speed controllers, propellers, batteries, a RC transmitter and receiver, a flight controller, a bunch of 3D printed parts we'll need a little bit later on, the 3D printed center plate of the frame and the printed arms that will hold the motors. Now we just have to put it all together. Luckily, thanks to the magic of editing, I should be able to do that in mm, no more than 20 seconds. So start the clock.
Okay, didn't quite manage it in 20 seconds, but that's because I found a huge flaw in my drone design. And speaking of design, I should probably mention that today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. And they're not just about circuit boards. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, basically everything you need to turn an idea like Rocket Rabbit into something real. I personally love to use their services. Ordering is super easy, they deliver fast and it's surprisingly affordable. To help you get started, you'll find a $10 discount code in the video description. But be quick, as it's only available for the first 10 people who use it. Special thanks to PCBWay for making all of this possible. Now, about that propeller issue. Look, these propellers can only be mounted in one way. For the top motors, that's fine. If the motors would spin up, they'll push the air downward and lift the drone. But when I flip the propellers and mount them to the motors at point downward, they'll push the air upward, pulling the drone down instead. So the propellers actually need to be mounted the other way around. But the problem is, that's not possible. Now, I might have an idea to make these propellers work anyway, but it's not going to be pretty and I'm not sure how safe it will be. But I think we don't have much of a choice. Okay, at least they fit now, and it feels sturdier than I expected. But only a test flight will tell if it actually works. There's just one thing left to do before we can fly it, and that's figure out how to attach the batteries to the frame. Because personally, I hate visible cables and try to avoid them in all my projects as much as possible. That's where those parts from earlier come in. They are little fuel tank lookalikes that screw onto the drone and they fit the batteries perfectly. So, now that that's sorted, it's time for a test flight. Okay, so the drone itself is a bit twitchy and the controls feel a bit sluggish. But the important thing is, it flies. I just hope it will fly better with a little extra weight on top. So, time to assemble Rocket Rabbit so we can find out. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough white filament left to print everything in white. But luckily, I've still got a can of white spray paint. Alright, now that everything is in the right color, let's see how many easter eggs fit in his backpack and of course, how we're going to drop them. Oh, that's more than enough. The only issue now is, if I remove my hand from the opening, they will fall out. So, we'll need to find a way to hold them in during flight. For that, I want to use a small servo. By hooking it up to one of the spare channels on the RC receiver, we can control it from the ground while flying. So we can drop the eggs whenever we want. Let's test if it works as expected. Perfect. But we're not quite done yet. Rocket Rabbit still looks kind of stiff, don't you think? To bring him to life, I designed a hollow space in his back that fit a slightly bigger servo, so we can make his head turn left and right. Only problem is, I've run out of spare channels to control it. But what if we wire it to the same channel that controls the drone steering? That way, his head will turn while the drone turns. Just one last thing before it's really finished. And there he is, Easter Bunny 2.0, or 
Rocket Rabbit. There's only one last thing to do now that is fully assembled. A final test flight. Now, unfortunately, I didn't finish him in time for Easter this year. But hey, that means I've got 12 more months to make him even better. So tell me, does Rocket Rabbit look cool enough to fool my nephew next year? Or do you have ideas to make him even better? Maybe you've got a completely different mission he should fly on. Let me know in the comments and who knows, maybe Rocket Rabbit will show up your Easter next year.